Good afternoon. I want to do some energy for May 2020, 2021 for all zodiac signs. The next sign I'm working with is Virgo. So let's draw some cards. I'm going to use oracle cards to get messages and get energy for each and every sign. So I'm going to use my fortune cookie cards first to start. So I'm asking spirit, my angels, my ancestors to come through with love, light, and clarity for the beautiful sign of Virgo. What energies do we have for the beautiful sign of Virgo for May 2021, please? Two cards. All right, the first card is planning. So it says, now is the time to lay down the foundations for your future financial games Things are more than likely. So it's time for planning. You know, it's time to plant those seeds. That's part of your planning, Virgo. It's time to get a real plan to figure things out, to figure out what we want to do or what you want to do. You know, you're in a planning phase of your life. You know, if you plan correctly, financial gains are more than likely. So set down those foundations, make a, a sure flyer plan and follow through with it. Make it make sense to you. Make it be something that is achievable, that you know you can do. You know, you might want to push the envelope a little bit with things. I also have communication. It says, a reunion could bring love or a rekindling in a friendship. A lucky win seems likely. So, communication is key right now for you. And, you know, communication can bring in old friendships. You need, Sometimes you need to speak and hash things out. You know, if it's worth savaging. If it doesn't feel right, don't bother with it. You know, but you can also communicate the fact that this is it. I no longer want to deal with you. You know, release that person from your heart, from your soul, from your energy, from your spirit. But also bring in the ones that you need to have around you. Hmm. And also, um, as a lucky, a lucky win seems likely. So, you know, whatever you do, you're going to win at it when you communicate clearly and speak from the heart and let things flow in the natural order they're supposed to. So I'm going to use my Making Magic card and get some messages for Virgo. And this is for May 2021. Once again, Spirit Angels and Ancestors, give me some love, clarity, and the beautiful sign of Virgo. What messages want to come out for them? I got two cards. Let's see what we got. The first one is the star. It says the silver energy of the star brings good luck and serendipity. So, this is using some of that star energy. You know, you're, you're going to have a lot of good luck. And serendipity is like these beautiful, um, to me, <laughs> these beautiful, peaceful, balanced, wonderful moments. And the time is 111. 111. So this may be a, a really direct message for you. Um, you create these beautiful, peaceful moments in your life. Or these peaceful moments in your life are coming. You feel like you can breathe a sigh of relief. I feel like you've been going through some shit. You know, you need this. So, um, you know, there's a lot of good luck coming for you. This can be good luck in all things. It doesn't have to be financial. It could be love. It could be just something wonderful happening to you. And I also have self, sorry, safe and happy travel. Protection from harm when travel, when journeying. Journeying, I can talk. So um, you may be planning a trip or just in general, going to work or whatever the things may be. They're letting you know that you have protection from harm when traveling or journeying. So if you are planning a trip, know that you are protected. It's going to be a wonderful trip. Everything's going to go as planned, if not better. So keep that energy in mind. You know, go ahead and plan something because you are protected. <laughs> so you're going to guarantee yourself a good trip. The angels, the ancestors are coming through to offer you protection. Some of you may have been weary of traveling or having things happen to you. But understand, you know, you're protected from harm while you're traveling. And everything's going to be wonderful. You're going to have a beautiful trip. So let's, that might be part of your planning. You might need to sit here and plan a trip for the future. Let's pull some of the star seed cards. So I'll just do one. And it says choice. It says be, excuse me, by staying conscious in your thoughts, you guide your journey in the direction of choice. So once again, that journey, journey in, that word means something to you. Um, you have to stay in the moment, stay in your thoughts. 
Uh, it helps guide you in the direction that you need to be going or, or that you want to go. So it's telling you to focus to me. It's time to focus on what you need to be focusing on. And that's also about planning. You know, get serious, stay focused, stay in your element, stay in your thoughts. You know, don't be so scattered brain. Choose one subject and stay with that subject. Master it. Absorb it. Be the best at it. You know, Virgos are very smart, very analytical, very precise, very pristine, very, you know, they can handle shit, get shit done. Maybe your energy's been a little scattered. You haven't been acting in your true Virgo self. It's time to get back to you, what you do best. The planner, you know, the follow through -er, you know, the perfectionist. So stay conscious, stay in your element of Virgo. Stay in your thoughts. Let it guide your journey. Trust your intuition. So I'll just get one card. And these are my angel answers. I have be assertive. So it might be time for you to ask for what you want. You know, I have a family of Virgos. And a lot of times they're not as assertive as they need to be. They're assertive when they're pushed to be assertive. But in general, you know, they're more assertive passive aggressive <laughs> that's the only way I can say it because they feel a lot of things but they don't want to rock the boat per se um, you know a lot of times they take a lot of shit just not to, so not to hurt anybody else but when they do explode or when they do have enough it's crazy it's you know the anger so it's time to be assertive stop holding on to shit that you don't need to hold on to ask for exactly what you want you're not asking for too much and you deserve it you know, start choosing yourself. It's the message I really want to say. And sorry about that. I hate when it shakes. I have my moon cards, my moonology cards, right? But let's see what messages want to come out for you, beautiful Virgos. And this is from May 2021. Let's get some cards and some energy going. I can't shuffle today. I apologize. have full moon in Leo. Don't let your pride get in the way. So Virgo, you know, if you have a lot of pride, release that shit. Let it go. Pride comes before a fall, honey. So, you know, don't get knocked off your horse because of your pride. You know, you can have all things come to you, but you have to let your pride, your pride stops you from getting the things that you deserve. It blocks your intuition. It blocks your love. So get out of that. You're abundant. Abundance is your birthright. You deserve all these wonderful things. Don't get the big head. Let your pride get out your way. Let people help you. You cannot do everything by yourself, Virgo. You can, but, you know, <laughs> a lot of things Virgos can do. That's a very strong sign. It's the little work to be of the Zodiac to me, but it's it's okay to have other people help you. It's okay to enlist the help of others, friends, family, even strangers. Um, you don't have to do it all. Get up that pride out your way. Partner up with somebody. And this might be a message in itself. In business and love and all things, partner up. Take the load off. You know, don't work yourself to death. Don't worry yourself to death. Let your friends help you. Don't let your pride get in the way. So, let's draw another card. This is the last card. This is uh, my angels' light cards. They give beautiful messages. Okay, it says, see everything through the eyes of love. And it says, love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or, pro or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. I'll read it again. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 5. And I love that scripture, by the way. But this is telling you, I just said, don't let your pride get in the way. Maybe you're having some pride issues. Love is not prideful. <laughs> Love believes all things. Love never fails. So get out of that energy. You know, operate through your heart space. Because real love, true love, does not boast. It's not proud. Is not rude. 
So operate out your heart space. That's a message in itself. Heal yourself. Heal the planet. Raise your vibrations. So this is just the messages I have for my beautiful sign of Virgo. And this is for May 2021. I hope this video resonates with you. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Comment, like, subscribe, share. I'm trying to grow my channel. Uh, thank you so much, Virgo, for watching. I hope you have a wonderful May.